Hi there, welcome to Garden Friends. I'm Andrea here in Tampa, Florida, and I'm here with a dying dill plant. Yes, he is dying and he's ugly. Um, he is full of a whole bunch of seeds, and last year we had a lot of dill and it self-seeded, and I've got them popping up all over the yard, and I've left them because they attract swallowtails. They're a host plant for the swallowtail butterfly, and I'll show you one of those in a minute because I've got a really nice sized caterpillar crawling around on some dill. Um, they also attract aphids, and I know that nobody likes those, but aphids attract ladybugs. And today I am on a mission to raise awareness of what the ladybug larva looks like. There he is right there. It doesn't look like a ladybug. Um, it's, well, I think it looks like a little alligator, but they love aphids. And so apparently I had some very active ladybugs that laid a whole bunch of eggs and when they hatched, they sent out these, this little army here of larvae. Now, when they are finished, they are going to turn into their little cocoons. It looks almost like a dried up ladybug, their cocoons do. So I will show you those in a second too, so that you don't, you don't cut those off of your plant and, and get rid of them before your ladybugs emerge. But this is a very important um, part of the ladybug's life cycle. You want to have um, pesticide-free plants that they will be attracted to. And the way that they're attracted to them is it's got little bugs on them that they want to eat. Now here's some dill that popped up. It is a virtual ladybug nursery. Um, I have several cocoons there. They will emerge soon. And if I keep going, there's a larva. He's pretty big. He'll be turning into a cocoon soon, I'm sure. Now, I've got some very young ladybugs. They've emerged. I know that they're young because they don't have spots. They'll get their spots, though, pretty soon. And they will fly off in search of more aphids once the dill is clean. Another reason that we love our dill so much is that it attracts swallowtail butterflies and there is a swallowtail caterpillar right there. They're pretty cool, a little different than the monarchs. I like the colors, they're very bright. So on that note, I will bid you goodbye. Um, if you got anything out of my video, uh, hit that little like button, subscribe, send me some comments. It's always nice to hear from new friends and you get out in your garden and grow something. Have a great day.